morning. Today we're starting a new series. It's going to be about taking requirements all the way to releasing a feature to customers. We have fake customers, but I think it's going to be fun. And either way, we are going to take the role of each person and team within this process. <laughs> That will be interesting, but we'll have many videos that are going to go through each process and breaking it down and making it all fun and dandy and beautiful. So further ado, let's just get started with the high level process flow walkthrough. Intro. Feature requirements and acceptance criteria. Research is done by studying markets and analyzing current and or prospective customers to figure out engagement of a future feature or modifications to a feature. External resources research. Within the feature research, there is investigation on APIs, streams, webhooks, or external data stores to name a few that our feature would need to interact with. The research is done to figure out market products that can power the feature or can be used to enhance the feature itself. This is done prior to starting any feature design in case there are any licenses that require contracts to be signed. Architecture research and design. There are a couple of architecture design decisions to make. These decisions range from application architecture, platform architecture, and security architecture. Normally, there are multiple architects that specialize in these areas, but for our purposes, let's assume we're doing all of this. I know, right? Here we will analyze the requirements provided by product and we will figure out how they would fit our current ecosystem. From there, we will know if we need one or more microservices in our microservice ecosystem. We break out architecture research into three. Application architecture. Here we look at the data store and data models, communication protocols, ecosystem integration, and testing frameworks. This has everything to do with the application itself the tech stack we use specifically for the service or set of services that we will build. Whether we use data stores like MySQL, MongoDB, or DynamoDB, or communication protocols like gRPC, HTTP, or GraphQL, or even type of testing frameworks if there isn't already one that teams like to use within the company. Platform architecture. We look at how the application will be host. Is it dockerized or hosted in a virtual machine? Whether we will utilize GitHub Actions as our CI/CD framework or something else and any other resources. For example, when we look at cloud platforms like SQS, SNS, S3, etc. Security architecture. Here we deal with how we are protecting our application and the customer's data being stored for usage on our application, how we will handle authorization or authentication, and even how we will maintain coverage when dealing with application vulnerabilities introduced by our own internal code or third-party code. Feature sizing. Before any development is done, communication occurs to figure out the sizing of the work to be done. In this case, software developers will go through the feature analysis process, architecture analysis, and discussions are held to figure out proper sizing of the work to be created. Development process. We finally got to the good stuff. Here, we will go through the process of coding the application, writing tests, and any platform as well. Make sure to break out big problems into smaller ones as you go and do your best. Also, don't be afraid to question certain architecture decisions as you go through the current ecosystem. There could be hidden surprises in the code that the architect doesn't have sight on. This helps to bring to light those issues which will in turn improve the architecture design and avoid unexpected surprises. There is also documentation that is included in this stage, but this is additive to the documentation started by architecture. Normally developers tend to maintain documentation as it is best to do so since they are closer to the code. QA process. At this point we have written a lot of tests including unit tests, integration tests, and end-to-end -end tests but there is still more work to do. Normally, there are more test cases that are written by QA developers, so this provides a lot more coverage. Feature release. Getting to this stage is so exciting. This proves to us that we are able to work as a team and we were able to build an amazing feature together. There are a lot more things that happen after a feature is released, like customer engagement analysis, customer support, and of course, a team party. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that bell button so you can know when the next video of this series will happen. And I'll see you next time.